Hello there, good evening. Severe flood warnings have been issued for areas of Perth and Aviemore after days of heavy rain. The government says across the country things are getting better, but they also warned the risk of flooding was still high because of rising river levels. Aileen Clark reports. Aviemore, a severe flood warning in place, a beer garden underwater and the hotel trying to keep it out. Some roads in the area impassable, some getting that way and the River Spey rising. Last night, 70 miles south in Aberfeldy, they were already feeling the force of the floodwaters as tractors came to the rescue of holidaymakers and their caravans. This was bowling station in Dumbartonshire yesterday. Today, hard work overnight by network rail staff was paying off. ScotRail is hoping to resume a normal service tomorrow, depending on inspections today. At Central Station in Glasgow this morning, after all the cross-border cancellations, there was a big queue eager for the restart. This was the deluge in Dumbarton yesterday. Today, it was time to clean up. Here, water came into the close, but thankfully not into the house. Some people take it better than others. Some people cope and other people end up in floods of tears. It's, it's very stressful. In Argyle on the A83, the clean-up is much more complicated. 160 millimetres of rain fell this weekend on the rest and be thankful. That's a month's worth. It remains shut and there's six landslips from there to Inverary. But the usual long diversion route to and from Argyle via Dalmally is now open. And it was in Argyle at Kilmartin that despite everything the weather could throw at them, this couple managed to tie the knot, thanks to a helpful farmer driving their celebrant to the service. She basically, um, she was so determined that her neighbour, who's a farmer, had a tractor and brought her up in the tractor. We actually seen the tractor just coming up to the gate and we were like, oh, there's a tractor. And then the celebrant was at the door. And the wellies, yes, I just bought them just in case, knowing the weather in Scotland. And I thought um, they might just come handy. Many communities across Scotland will be looking forward to conditions improving in the coming hours. Aileen Clark, Reporting Scotland.